Hello, this is Goku for some one, and I'm back this time to do a pitch video. This pitch video will be on one of my favorite franchises of all time, Star Wars, so let me get into it. But before I give you my pitch, I want to say this. This is going to be my idea. This is an idea I came up with a long time ago. This is not going to be me incorporating any of the things I think they're going to do. This is not what I think is going to happen. This is just what I would do if I was writing it. So let's begin. So the movie would begin with... Luke, Leia, Han, Chewbacca, all of them living in peace. The New Republic has been set up. It's great. The Empire has been destroyed. They've gotten rid of the remnants. It's been uh, probably 30 years. Nothing has happened. The New Jedi Order is set up. Uh, there are now around 100 Jedi. Han and Leia have children. Luke probably has a, has a child, maybe several. And it's a great time. It's a wonderful time. Everything is peaceful. The young Jedi is most likely the children of our main characters and their friends go on a little adventure. They go to a smuggler's planet and they end up getting trapped. Luke, Han, Chewbacca, and maybe Leia have to go rescue them. Adventure ensues, things happen, and they end up rescuing the children. All goes well. At some point in the movie, probably very early on in the movie, they talk about the void. The void of space where nothing lives. Nothing can live in the void, nothing does live in the void. Now, the, before it goes to credits, you see this void that they were talking about early on in the movie, and out of the void comes ships, an armada, a massive armada of ships. And then you go to the bridge of the flagship, where a man stands. He's a human-looking man, probably in his... Uh, 30s or 40s, this man says, I was the first and I will be the last. I started this order and I will end this order. They have spit on what I created and I will now take back what I created. The Jedi or no longer will be Jedi. Okay, so the movie ends with that. Now, the second movie begins with the Empire remnants they thought were gone attacking the New Republic. It's been about two years. The young apprentices that went on the adventure in the first film are no most likely Jedi Knights. A war has now begun. The war is not going well for either side. The remnants hid because they didn't think they had a shot. Now that this new evil has come, or is it actually evil, they think they have a shot. Near the end of the movie, there is a standstill. The ba main bad guy, the original Jedi, steps out and meets the entire Jedi Order. Meets the entire Jedi Order. Many Jedi start to rush him, and he just sets them aside. They can't battle this guy. They have no chance against him. They are losing every single thing. He's not killing anybody because he doesn't have to. He's a true Jedi. He doesn't kill. He obeys the Jedi Order to its core. And he's just throwing them, doing whatever he needs to. Doesn't even need to pull out a lightsaber. He has one, but he's too powerful for them. Luke decides, be, thinking he's the most powerful of the Jedi, rushes this guy. He throws Luke aside like nothing. And then grabs Luke by his neck. Does something. Luke's body emanates. And then he throws Luke on the ground. And, it, and then he says to all the Jedi and to everybody there, this is not a war. A war assumes there are two sides. This isn't even a conflict. It is over. I have stripped your most powerful Jedi of his force. And trust me, I can see the force emanating from all of you. I know who the most powerful and I know who the weakest is. This Luke Skywalker has no ability to commune with the force anymore. He has been defeated. You have been defeated. You may surrender now. The Jedi must come with me so I can strip them of the Force. This is over. The war will end when the surrender is over. The movie ends at that point, and then it goes into the next movie. It's been uh, some time after the New Republic has surrendered. He has now put one of the people that he trusts, eh, within reason, in charge of the New Republic there is peace for the most part, but this is not a great time. This is a horrible time. Luke, Han and Leia's children, along with if Luke has children, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, are all in hiding, not knowing what to do. 
Luke has now lost the ability to commune with the forest and they have no idea where to go next. They decide to go to the void to see if they can find something to help them defeat this new enemy. Something that can help them win this conflict. And so they go into the void and they find the one thing they think might be able to help. A planet in which the force is so prominent, so powerful, that this planet looks nothing like a normal planet. It's weird looking. They go there and all the Jedi unite and they find a way to take some of their force and put it into Luke because the force is so strong in this area that it allows Luke to gain the force. But Luke also gains some of the force from this planet. Now enchanted with this new force, maybe, maybe the oldest force there is in the universe, maybe more ancient than they ever thought, they go back and they fight. And Luke is capable of fighting him. It's not easy. Luke is barely holding his own, but he's not losing anymore. And out of somewhere, Luke is capable of doing what this guy did to him and removing the Force from him. Now that the Force has been removed from him, he's now imprisoned. The battle is far from over, but at least for now, they've defeated their greatest adversary ever, the original Jedi. So this is just a quick idea of what I would do. This is not a detail. Please leave a comment below. I might change how the ending ends, but this was just me coming up with the whole story. So this is Goku Photosome 1, and I'll see you next time, YouTube.